two vessels A and B, there is a mixture of milk and water. The ratio of milk and water in this vessel is 5 is to 2 and 8 is to 5 respectively. In what ratio these mixtures be mixed together so that ratio of milk and water in the new mixture become 9 is to 4. So we have milk and water ratio in the first vessel it is in 5 is to 2 ratio. In the second vessel it is in 8 is to 5 ratio. In the final vessel that is after mixing first vessel and second vessel there will be a new mixture that contains milk and water in the ratio 9 is to 4. So we need to find out in which ratio this vessel 1 and vessel 2 should mix to get the 9 is to 4 ratio in the final mixture. So take the uh, to find out the ratio take the total parts here 5 plus 2 is equal to 7 parts 8 plus 5 is equal to 13 parts 9 plus 4 is equal to 13 parts you can see all these parts are unequal so you need to make total parts in all these ratio you need to equalize total parts in all these ratio here lcm is equal to LCM of 7, 13 and 13 is equal to 7 into 13 that is 91. So multiply first ratio with 13 because this is 7 parts you need to make it 91 parts. 7 into 13 is equal to 91 so multiply it with 13. Here 13 into 7 is equal to 91 so multiply second ratio with 7 because it is 13 parts you need to make it 91 parts. So multiply second ratio with 7. Same way, third ratio is also, final ratio is also 13 parts. So, multiply it with 7. Now, you have equalized total parts in all these ratio. Now, I am taking milk part in first vessel. That is 13 into 5 is equal to 65 is milk part in first vessel. 7 into 8, 56 is the milk part in second vessel. In the final vessel, that is final mixture, new mixture, 7 into 9, 63 is the milk part. So, use the allegation method here. In the first vessel, milk part is 65. Second vessel, milk part is 56. And final mixture, milk part is 63. This is milk. This is milk. Okay. Then, 65 minus 63 is equal to 2. 50, 66, 63 minus 56 is equal to 7. So, 7 is to 2 is your ratio. Option A is your answer.